Most people in the world would dream of living in a mansion on the beach. Wouldn't you agree? Rumored to have been owned by the cartel, this place was more than just a beach house, but a mega compound that would ultimately be left in ruins. Judging by the luxurious features of this place, it wouldn't surprise me if the rumors were true. But nonetheless, whoever lived here definitely lived a life that most people dream of. So let's check out what's left of this $26 million beach estate. Good morning. We are about to head out. Well, I'm about to head out. My wife is gonna take me to the airport. For now, I am just kind of chilling in here. Going to meet up with Jeremy. You guys have seen him before, been in Nashville. Really good friend of mine. And we're gonna be exploring a mansion, a $26 million abandoned mansion on the beach. This place is insane. Has a 25 plus car garage. There's just so much more to it. We'll get it later on into the video. My stuff ready. Got the, got the bag ready to go. Gotta say bye to old Nilly here. <laughs> so I will uh, see you guys whenever we get to Florida. made it into Alabama, waiting on Jeremy to come pick me up. We're gonna come chill for the night, and then right and early in the morning, we're gonna go explore. Dude, Jeremy's here. Welcome to my car, Carter. <laughs> back again. Welcome back to my car. How's it been, man? It's good, dude. I've been enjoying my, oh, my trip thanks. down here on the Gulf, man. Guys, like, it's almost been a month probably, or a little bit longer, <laughs> that I, have, I haven't had this. <laughs> It's been in its car, but now we have a little bit of a rest time today and then tomorrow morning we're going to hit it hard. Good morning. It is about 4.15 a.m. We have a two hour drive from where we're at right now to this abandoned mansion. We just got up, ready to hit it hard. The plan is get there, find a good parking spot walk to the beach and kind of just sneak our way across the beach into the house. Which I think if we get there at sunrise, we should be fine. Let's just uh, see this montage of us driving there. Peace. We're making our way to the mansion right now. It's a little bit dark, the sun's still coming up, and it's really windy and chilly right now. We got a little bit of a short walk to the beach here. This place is rumored to be owned by some cartel family. Not too sure how true that is, but this is a legit mega mansion. Over 13,000 square feet. This place is wild. open sea <laughs> I like our beach tire you know <laughs> <laughs>
wow. This is the garage. 25 cars fit in here. Front door's blown off. Head. It looks like a temple. So this flooring is actually on both sides. You got this right here and another one down there. Must have been a beautiful chandelier hanging here. space. You got this hallway that's kind of like a little windy. This is a closet space. Wow, it's detailed. That's nice. It's like kind of a, I don't know the, the name of it, but it's, it's definitely, yeah. Oh my gosh, dude, this was the master bathroom. Wow, holy crap. This, this tub would have been right here. The marble on the walls and on the floors, not only that. Dude, this is a massive bathroom. Marble pillar in here. Yeah. Dude, this This right here. Dude, what kind of stone was on this? Solid. This is like. This is marble. What kind of stone is this? Graphite, probably. That was on the, the tub here. So the tub was like black. Yeah, the tub was black. That was all this. It's just all busted up. Completely busted up. Someone had a field day in here. Look at the back of this tub. Surprising. This is luxury, man. Goes to wood flooring in here. Someone was living it up in this place. I love how open this is. Another bedroom in here. Look at all that. Look at this grand room right here. Another great ceiling. So this is definitely the master, I think. You think this is the master bed? Yeah, definitely. Wooden floors. This is a marble fireplace too. Dude, they had so much marble in this place. The ocean just like round the back of the Got the pool out there. We'll go out there here in a little bit. 
So there's no second story. This is basically the second story. Yeah. So we need to go down one. It's right here. Ah, uh, we have a the attic. It's literally just blown open. Look at that ceiling up there. Those are, this is like a mega mansion for real. So this is the floor to ceiling, marble fireplace. And that is probably the biggest fireplace I've ever seen. That is massive. And then it goes to this beautiful detailed ceiling. Your front entrance. And you have these massive pillars all throughout inside. And that is definitely marble. The curtains are still up. Back over this way. This was the kitchen, but it's been all stripped out. There was an island right there. This is all granite countertops. So much money worth of things in this place. Here's another way to the attic. This is probably some entertainment space. Maybe even, maybe even a dining room right here. What do you think? I mean, it's a grand house. It's gonna have a grand dining room. And this is probably it. Another marble fireplace. We got the pool out here, which we'll take a better look here in a minute, but I wanna get, get you more of the inside of this house first. Here's their old, uh, actually this is for the pool. Pool, fountain, pool light, jet pump, filter pump. So this controlled all the lights in the pool and everything. This is massive, dude. Yeah. Where these two rooms are with these circular tiling right here. This side has the elevator that would take you down all the way the elevator is just literally right there. Take you all the way down to your 25 car garage. Somewhere in this house is also a gym, which is probably downstairs. This mansion is huge. <laughs> this is one of the bigger ones we've explored, honestly. So yeah, I see on this side, it has the same thing right here. And there was probably a beautiful chandelier hanging here. This entire property is 10 acres. So from the driveway all the way here, like that driveway is so long. Like this place is back here, man. Look at this. is occupied <laughs> but back here we still got marble flooring We've got this bedroom these curtains are still up the flooring's kind of being ripped out of here though and each bedroom has its own bathroom Look at this. 
big shower. The only room I see with carpet in it. And somebody's definitely squatting in here. No look outside. I think this might have been a dining room look. Dining, kitchen scene, dining scene, what the heck? So supposedly there's a gym. That's probably what this is. Yeah, I imagine this right here was the gym. If I had to guess. Yeah, in here was definitely probably the gym. Or a sauna. There's supposed to be a sauna here as well. Yeah, that's a big sauna. But a big sauna room for a big house makes sense. That's the elevator? Yeah. Dude, what? With the golden doors on it. It looks like. <laughs> Careful. I don't think it goes down very far, but. I think we're as far down as it goes. Golden doors, man. Yeah. And even, even like marble in here. Yeah, there's only one and two. Well, this is the garage. Cause this is a, it's a drive through garage. So you can drive through this way, come through here and drive out that way. It's double sided. But there's this room over here. This could have been the gym. Yeah, I think this is the gym. Oh, dude. <laughs> I didn't even see this one. Where does this one lead to? It leads upstairs to the, uh, one of the living rooms. Wow, I didn't even notice this one. That is sick. This is another bedroom. Look at that, they got a bottle of Jim Beam. It's even got a bathroom right here. Definitely. A nice bathroom too. This this tub is sunken down into the floor. What do you guys think of this place so far? $26 million mansion. This is one of the most expensive mansions we have on this channel. I haven't done one in a minute, it feels like. These people definitely had some money, let me tell you. Oh God, yeah, there's somebody's clothes. Oh, it reeks of piss. Yeah, it's disgusting in here. But this is the gym. Pretty positive. Yeah, the big mirror says it all. Yeah, this is definitely the gym. Oh, there's a couch here. I didn't even see this. Here, it's gonna get a little windy, but look at that pool down there. The amazing view. I mean, look at that.
There's a couch here. <laughs> Bunch of taco. Oh, wow. well, dude, there's a. Looks like somebody vomited right there. There's a old Taco Bell water burger. I mean, people are coming in here and chilling. Like, this couch looks big. There's even some chicken, church's chicken or something down there. So guys, earlier when we were downstairs and we said that was a sauna room, it turns out that's actually the wine room. It held like thousands of bottles, which was crazy. I mean, but that's, that's what you expect in a mansion like this. This is a mega mansion. This is like every definition of it. It's got an elevator, two, three beautiful staircases, I think. Massive marble pillars, 50 foot ceiling, it seems like. I don't know if it's 50 foot, but it's huge, you know? But this place is absolutely incredible. I wish there's a little more stuff left behind, but it's also good in a sense too, that the people, you know, got all their belongings before they left. But it's sad to see this place the way it is. This is a beautiful mansion. So part of this garage, like I said, you can drive straight through all the way around and you can fit 25 cars in here. I can imagine the guy probably had like Ferraris, Lambos, Rolls Royces, all that stuff piled up in here. Corvettes, convertibles, definitely some convertibles. Definitely Corvettes, beach. definitely yeah. Corvettes. Definitely Corvettes down here, convertible Corvettes. Yeah. It's a very like Miami, like beachy kind mm -hmm. of vibe. <laughs> Here's all the security. Definitely not in use anymore. i tell you that. We're on the front porch now. But like I said, this looks like a freaking temple with these pillars. It's a little windy, so I don't know if you'll be able to hear me much, but this is, this is cool. Look at that massive chandelier outside with the wood paneling on the top. There's probably some accent lights right here on the walls. There's so many palm trees. As look at the sheer, look at the sheer size of this thing. That's crazy. Palm trees out here, this place is beautiful. My gosh, if you could see Jeremy up there, look how small he is. <laughs> look at this place. Who would have thought a mansion like this would be abandoned? On the beach too, of all places. On the beach. Goodness gracious. He had this little circular part right here. You'd almost want to think this place has a freaking helicopter pad or something. It's so big. Just hidden behind here. Must have been a gate that was attached here. So you, you not only have to drive down a super long driveway, but then you have to go through another gate right here just to get to the mansion, which is insane. Wow, I'm blown away. Walking up to the mansion. Like I said, looks like a temple. This place is crazy. But look at all of this rubble. But then when you get up here past all this, which this looks like marble too, you're greeted with this lion head fountain. Wow. It is very windy, but this is the back deck of this mansion. My goodness. This is wild. Look at the speakers up there. I bet you they threw mad parties here. You can see the ocean right there. So right here we got a fire pit. Got the fans turning because it's windy out here. Got these massive openings right here. The great look onto the beach. 
absolutely incredible. Look at this massive window right here. It leads right into the living room. I mean, look at Jeremy and look at the size of it. <laughs> Pretty big. And I'm huge. I'm literally like eight feet tall. <laughs> Smells like weed. It's uh, really windy out here today. Oh, it reeks like weed. <laughs> Somebody's definitely squatting in here. Yes. Oh, it stinks so bad over here. I think there's some dead over here, bro. Oh, God. It smells like something dead right there. Yeah. And it smells like weed over there. And obviously somebody's squatting in there. That's the end of today's exploration. Hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful mansion. Thank you for Jeremy, abandoned Nashville, for joining me today. We're gonna enjoy this beautiful beach and hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, Big Banks out.